I'm very excited. One thing I stressed when I met with the, uh, the minority leader, Kevin McCarthy, as far as committee assignments, is I really uh, asked him uh, and, uh, to consider putting me on the Agriculture Committee because of how the, the, the most significant economic, uh, economic sector in New York 27 is agriculture, and I, uh, I won't, I'm pleased to say I was put, put on agriculture. So I'm thrilled about that. Uh, I have a lot to learn, and I think that, uh, that position will help me learn. Uh, I'm on, I have the opportunity on conference calls on a variety of issues, some related to the, our district, some not, but, but all in regards to the agriculture sector, very helpful. Uh, I will have a, place, a seat at the table you know, when there's a new ag bill, anything else going on. We are, I, I've been waiting to go down, back down to Washington with the hopes of a new stimulus agreement. Unfortunately, that has not happened as of yet. Uh, have needs for additional stimulus money in different areas, uh, and I've certainly signed on to legislation uh, along with my colleagues up here, uh, Senator Morelli, uh, Congressman Morelli and Congressman Reed, in regards to local governments um, that uh, any money in, in, in additional stimulus needs to get down to local governments. Uh, unfortunately, our governor has held back a lot of the money that was already given in the first stimulus, and uh, we need to push him to, to do his ministerial job and get that money to local communities. I welcome the opportunity to be here today to meet you, uh, and uh, any issues, any issues I'd love to know about, uh, and I'm trying as best I can to learn as much as I can so when I'm down there, I'm the best advocate possible. So with that, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. In addition to uh, historically, Jersey County has been uh, one of the most uh, generous in, in sharing revenues and, and, and sales tax to our community. It has made uh, Genesee County have to uh, be very, very thrifty and very, very tight for and lean for many years. And as such, our infrastructure is, is suffering. Uh, we've gotten to ourselves to a point now where we have a, a uh, unacceptable level of bridges that are in, in red flag status and, and needing a significant repair. Uh, and, and that's where we would look to, to have some assistance if possible from our partners at the federal and state level. We actually maintain all of the structures over five foot in span, which is really unusual in New York State. Uh, we have 95 bridges over 20 foot in span. 60% uh, of those bridges are on town roads. And 60% of those bridges, I'm sorry, 48% of those bridges are structurally deficient and or functionally obsolete. So that means half of our bridges in the county uh, need to be replaced at some point soon. Really decent job of maintaining what we have. We do a lot of uh, duct tape and bailing twine, you know, agricultural mentality of making things work as long as we possibly can for as cheap as we possibly can. But we're actually getting to the point where just there's nothing left to tie things to and duct tape to. So. We've got, I've been preaching of a tsunami of bridges that are coming our way, mostly post-World War II. They were all constructed in the late 40s and early 50s uh, as the country recovered from World War II. Those bridges are all now uh, needing to be replaced all at the same time. So we're in kind of a bad spot in terms of being able to fund that locally here. Um, you that the COVID situation uh, has made it much more difficult for us to, to be able to fund bridge replacements because most of the funding that we do locally is based on sales tax. And as we all know, that's... Uh, taken quite a hit here in the last nine months. So um, whatever help you could provide us. I know there's not a whole lot of opportunities in, term of, in terms of member items and things like that, but uh, whatever emphasis you could help put on the surface transportation program to help uh, rural counties would be significantly appreciated. The problem with federal aid that is that it's great, you know, because we don't obviously don't have the money to do it ourselves, but the strings that, strings that come attached to it are phenomenal. And the problem with federal aid is that it's not context sensitive. Everything is designed and constructed as if it was the Tappan Zee Bridge when, you know, really this is a two-lane country road that the farmer just needs to get across, you know, 100 times a day with his tractor and his, and his uh, dump truck. But, you know, we're designing everything to, you know, Brooklyn Bridge standards in terms of inspection and environmental considerations and, you know, the regulations that get uh, brought down to us are no different and we're treated no different than we would be if we were in New York City. So if there was just some context looked at to what we do locally, I think it would go a long way to spread the money out a lot better. Infrastructure for um, broadband, we know that there is currently a huge project going on in Genesee County, and there are many rural roads that are being, um, having cable run, uh, fiber cable now as a result of New York State's permission.
option for Charter and Time Warner to um, form Spectrum, mm -hmm. but there are still roads that will be without. And that problem for our school children, especially in COVID with the hybrid model of in school and out of school, that leaves us behind infrastructure. Public water has been um, key to this community since the early 1990s, and we have progressed a, a spine-type background into our community, and we are right there at a junction right now where we've got to make the next big jumps. In a, in a county or a community like, like Genesee County, probably around uh, New York and, and around the, the country, is is you'd have the little hamlets and villages that would all have their own aquifers and, and water systems and, 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 and run as best they can by local small municipal governments uh, with, uh, with the, the skill sets that they bring to the table. Um, and, and then you would have people in the uh, further parts of the towns that would be with, with water and, and whatever uh, the well they have dug and, and whatever comes along with uh, the dangers potentially with, with contamination, especially in a, in a rural community like this. And, and this was seen by you know 20 plus years ago that, that, that an opportunity for improvement, and, and a lot of uh, very intelligent people came together and they, they came up with the countywide water system that we have here, and they started building the spine. Mm -hmm. As as, as Shelley said, is 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 a very is a model. It's something that we should be proud of. I mean, there's things that we never would have envisioned when we, this was first being put together, such as as the um, how much cows love drinking public water, and that's something that we never <laughs> even and the productivity of cows has increased significantly and it's things that going back and looking at projections we this, this started before I came to the county uh, 16 years ago and looking at the projections of water utilization back then uh, and Tim could tell you that, that no one envisioned that cows and that farmers would, would, would be hooking into this um, so basically because of, of everyone jumping on board smaller communities like Elba and, and, and Byron and, and some of these other smaller towns and, and with their cows jumping on board uh, so, the demand has increased more than we could have ever imagined. So that we can draw water out of what it, what the, the system is, we consider it uh, for long-term purposes uh, compromised to, to a certain extent because it's it's susceptible to uh, rail and spill and things like that. Mm -hmm. So so we were looking to get the, the majority of all for all of our water coming from the County Water Authority. And and I'm using layman terminology here. I'm not sure if Tim still likes it, but we you know, basically kind of like we call them big straw. We're, we're building a significant water line that would come from the County, and that. that significant uh, investment that's necessary to take us off the uh, these current water city water supply is a significant dollar amount for us to, to complete this next phase. Uh, the we, have, we have been contacted by several different places in New York State, Cayuga County, Chautauqua County, uh, and places as far away as the state of Alabama on replicating your regional water system for a rural area. So it is fairly unique. It is extremely complex. There are over 50 Intermissible agreements between you know throughway authority and water authority, Erie County Water Authority, Monroe County Water Authority, all of our towns, all of our villages. Uh, it's inter 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 intertwined with sales tax. It's very complicated in terms of how it's arranged, but it has worked out really well, uh, probably too well, and that's why we're running out of water. Um, so we are embarking on what we call Phase Two, uh, which we are currently under construction on. It's about a thirty million dollar project, uh, just using rough numbers. Uh, but we are also looking further down the road at a phase three, which would bring us enough water to not only replace the city water, city water plant in the city of Batavia, but also um, bring in up to about 17 million gallons of water from Monroe County and from Erie County, quite, quite frankly. So uh, we're looking at the water supply for the next 75 years. It's a huge number for a little rural county like Genesee County. Uh, our initial uh, engineering report that we have put together for our phase three project, which is a few years down the road, is anywhere between 75 and 83 million dollars depending on which way you're out the pipe so um, it's a very heavy lift for us so any kind of outside help that we can get from our partners in, at the federal level whether it's USDA or yourself in Congress would be would be greatly appreciated it helps uh, defer the cost here locally we have I commend the, the foresight of the, the leadership who initiated this and continued because uh, for the future of the area both quality of life for those who live here and economic opportunity I mean uh, it's incredible. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I, I hope to be back soon.